Now we have our clinical question we have formed with PICO and it is time to search. We do not want to enter this entire question into our database. It's not going to give us any results. We want to pick out the key words or concepts from this question. Look at the question we have here and think about what words are the most important. For my key concepts, I selected obese, children, primary care settings, patient education, behavior, and weight loss as the important things. We do not have to worry about the other words like in or can or that. They do not add anything to our search. The other thing I have done is brainstorm some synonyms for my keywords. We will search for children, but we might also include teenage, adolescent, and pediatric because they might encompass the population I am working with as well. You may have also noticed that I have added some stars or asterisks on some of my words. Those are called wildcards. Wildcards can serve as any letter or a string of letters. In this example, I have attached it to the end of obese, so that the database I use will search for both obese and obesity. However, I want to warn you to be careful in using wildcards on the ends of very short words. For example, if I do a search on cats, I might type cat, asterisk, so that the database will look for cat and cats. However, it could also lead to other words that start with cat, examples being catastrophe, caterpillar, catalog, which would yield a bunch of results not relevant to my search. So just be careful when using wildcards on the ends of very short words. Now we are going to try out our keywords in a database. The database you want to use as a nurse is called CINAHL. You want to search in CINAHL because this way we are limiting our search to nursing and allied health literature. If you search in Google, you are going to pull back information from different disciplines and sources, which means searching CINAHL is going to save us some time because we know we are going to get results relevant to nurses and other related professions. I'm going to go ahead and enter CINAHL from the nursing guide. You can also access it from the HSL homepage under Quick Resources. You're going to be sent to a page that looks like this. First, I'm going to enter my keywords in the field up top. We can put our different concepts in the fields up here and connect them with AND. The synonyms will be connected with OR, which I have typed in the fields myself. Remember, you can always truncate the words with an asterisk if you are comfortable doing so. If you run out of space for your search terms, go ahead and add another row using the plus button to the right of the search boxes. Wait, before you click on search, I want you to look at the limits down below and see if any apply to your search. You will see a box called full text and you might be tempted to click on that because you think if I click on that I'll get back resources that I know we have access to. Don't select that box. If you select that box you will miss out on some of the full text articles we own here at UNC. Aside from that box the others should be fine to select. We have all kinds of limits, types of articles, languages, sex. The one I am interested in for this question is age groups because, if you remember, I work in a pediatric clinic. I am going to select the populations that are appropriate for clinical situations. I will pick children and adolescents since those are who my clinic serves. If you need to select multiple options, just hold down control when selecting. Now that I have selected my limits, I am going to scroll back to the top and click search. Now we are going to appraise our search results and see what kind we received from our search terms. Did we get too many? Too few? Are they on target and related to the subject we are looking for? Let me show you a couple ways you can modify your search if you are getting too few results or too many. First of all, look at the left sidebar. The Show More link will bring up your limit screen again. This box will pop up right on top of your search results. If you are getting too many results, you may want to limit your search to articles that are peer-reviewed. The reason you would do that is that in nursing school, our professors often want us to find reliable articles that have been reviewed by other nurses. Let's select that limit, then click on Search up top to rerun our search. The other thing you might want to do if you are getting too many results is narrow your search by publication date. To do so, use the sliding bar on the left hand side or the text entry boxes. 
I will go ahead and do so because a lot of times we want to find research published in the last five or ten years. Say you are getting too few results. What you can do in that case is add more synonyms with the OR operator. OR is always going to give you more results. Whereas, if you add more concepts with AND, this is going to give you less results. The search will run with all the key terms we listed and the extra one, making it extra exclusive. Often students come to an HSL librarian and say, I found one really good article related to the topic I am interested in. How do I find more like it? There are a couple of ways you can do this in CINAHL. Scroll through your results screen and you will see links under your articles that say cited references or time cited. Not all records have this, but for the ones that do, you can click on this link and get to articles that the author of your article has cited or to articles that cite the article you are interested in. Another tactic is to click on the article title and you will get a detailed record. On this screen, you can see subjects that have been assigned in CINAHL, and this can give you ideas of other key terms that you can insert in your search bar up top. 